So the supportive treatment is very important as well. So focus on avoiding hypothermia. Introduce the IVH prevention bundle in babies under 30 weeks in the first few days. I will make a video on that as well soon. We should consider antibiotics to cover early onset infection and if the markers are negative and the culture is negative, we stop with 36 hours in most of the cases. Uh, avoid using procalcitonin in the first two to three days. As we know, procalcitonin levels are fairly high in the first two to three days and you may overtreat. Use CRP after 12 to 24 hours because there is a lag period. Uh, you can do initial CRP as a baseline and even if, even if the first CRP is high, that does suggest infection. But if it's an uh, increasing trend, it would confirm that. Uh, IV fluids, total parental nutrition and central line would depend on gestation, weight and unit policy. Uh, if you have EBM, start trophic feeds at the earliest possible, even in the babies with respiratory distress, whether they are on invasive or non-invasive ventilation. If the baby is progressing on feeds while on ventilation, we do progress to full feeds uh, even in babies on NIV and we prefer two hourly feeds to minimize the risk of reflux and better tolerance of the feeds and we reach full feeds faster this way. Uh, once the baby is off the respiratory support, you go to three hourly and start suck feeding. We don't offer suck feeds on babies on uh, non-invasive ventilation as well as far as possible.